Hey, what's up, everybody? Good morning. This is your boy Veritas here coming at you with a little bit of a different stream today. We got the new Pokemon Snap and I got the uh, game audio muted just at the moment because you know how these games like to demonetize the videos due to the game audio. So once I get the background music down to a minimal, then I'll go ahead and turn on the game audio. But yes, I hope you all are excited as much as I am for this game. It's been a while since I played uh, Snap. Uh, I did play the original on the Nintendo. And yeah, it's just been so long. And I hope uh, that this game lives up to the hype. At least, at least lives up to my hype. I know a lot of people are going to have probably some negative things to say like they always do. But you can't please them all. So let's go ahead and let's choose the language. Hmm. Who do I want to be? <clears throat> Let's go ahead and be. Give me a sec. Let me fix all my cams and stuff. There you go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and be this dude. As always, your boy. Veritas. Yes. Let me turn the game audio back on. So again, with the game audio, I'm going to go ahead and mute it here. So since it's requiring me to read some, so I'll go ahead and read there. Hi there. This is Professor Murr. I wonder why his name is Professor Murr. Hi there. I'm glad you made it. Welcome to the Laboratory of Ecology and Natural Sciences, or LENS for short. My name is Murr. I'm researching Pokemon and their natural environment here on Floria Island. Rita. Yeah, that's not all. The professor's going to study every single island here in Lento region. No one's ever done an ecological survey like this before. It's going to be amazing. No one. Are you forgetting a certain explorer? He's probably talking about himself. Oops, good point. You read the stories of Captain Vince, haven't you? So it's this book. But even counting on him, Professor, your survey is going to be the first of its kind in 100 years. That's awesome. And I got 71 subscribers. I was unaware that whoever subscribed that to me and gave me that 71 subscriber, love you, appreciate you. Well, thanks. This is Rita. Her parents are good friends of mine. She is here on vacation while her school's on break. I'm not just here to goof off, Professor. I'm your research assistant. And yes, that's right. I appreciate the help. Now, before we go over and you'll be doing in this program. Oh, I'm in a program, apparently. Apparently I'm in some type of program. Why don't we step into the lab to get settled? Sure. Let's go. Right you are, Professor. I'll lead the way. Let's go. I wonder when I can turn this background music on so I could like um, bring back uh, my game audio. What if I like drastically drop it to like Give me a sec. You can barely hear it in the background. 
All right. So, starting off, Professor Mirror. All right, allow me to explain. The Lento region is absolutely timing with Pokemon. Photography, though, oof. Photographing those Pokemon helps us learn more about them and their ecosystem. And that's exactly what you're here to do. By the way. At night, you might even go, might even get to see glowing Pokemon. And that's pretty, and they're really pretty. I'm assuming that's like shinies. That'd be dope if that's like shinies. Professor Mirror. Now, without further ado, here's your research camera. We got a camera. We got a camera. Yes. Does that mean that uh, I got like a Canon Rebel or something? I got the same one. We can use these to communicate with each other and the rest of the team too. That's right. It's more than just a camera. It lets you keep in touch and analyze data on the fly. Yep. It also serves as sort of an ID badge for you here. So take good care of it. All right, so we got our camera and we got our ID badge and a cell phone apparently, or some type of communication device. What do you think? Awesome, right? <laughs> the professor invented it. Can I explain how to use it, professor? Anyway. Sure thing, Rita. Assist the way I'll go and take care of some other preparations. All right, come on, let's go outside. The tours are based on default button layouts. Aha, perfect timing. All right, press the A button and take a photo. Okay. Is that a good photo? Now what is the way using the camera to line up your dots? Okay. All right. If you use the left stick to move the pointer around, the camera will move the follower. Give it a try. You can point the camera up and down and then spin all the way around. A Pikachu. Try getting a shot of that Pikachu. First, move the pointer so it's lined up with Pikachu. Did you see that tape appear around Pikachu just now? N no, what? Whatever that tape is around is the subject of your photo. Remember that. It'll be important when it catches the value of your photo. Okay. I gotta snap. Why can't I just like take it? All right. Ooh, natural photographer. I mean, you can hear the music. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. I mean, if they demonetize my first video, they demonetize the first video. It's okay. I don't care. Cool. I'm a certified wow. photographer. I took three pictures. How is that? I hope you're getting the hang of it of your research camera. Anyway. Now then I evaluate the photos you took. First of all. Would you mind choosing one shot of each Pokemon you photog your photographed? Why do I keep trying to say the other word? 
I'll rate them using my special scoring system. Pick whatever shots you think are the best. Y'all hear a little baby in the background. It's just my daughter. All right, so try selecting the Pikachu folder. Select. You can choose a photo with the D-pad buttons or by moving the pointer. Press A when you've decided which one to show me. Now try selecting the Vivillion or Vivillon folder. Damn, some of these Pokemon names are difficult. Throw this on there. Zong took one. Then select or select show profession when you're ready for me to evaluate your shots. Okay. Let's see what kind of grade he gives us. Oh, I need to turn my light on. Give me one sec. Start with photo number one. A new discovery. Oh, it's a Pikachu. This is the first time you got in it as your subject. Okay. The first thing I do is rate each photo from one to four. I came up with this system to help us understand and categorize how Pokemon behave. Photos of Pokemon in ordinary state get fewer stars, but more unusual behaviors mean more stars. Simple enough, right? Yes. To be clear, the number of a star a photo received doesn't affect its score. Every category is important. By the way, the camera keeps logs of what was happening when we took each photo. That data helps me categorize your photos. Let's move on to the scoring. First, I'll evaluate the subject's pose. Hold on, give me a sec. Okay. I thought I could like kill the, the theme song, but I can't. Snapping your photo at just the right moment is key to getting a high pose score. Now on the other on other fa on to the other factors, size is straightforward. The larger your subject Pokemon appears in the photo, the better. Then there's the direction the Pokemon is facing. Try getting it facing you in your photos. Next is placement. Try to get the Pokemon in the center of the frame for a nice balanced photo. And finally, you get bonus points if other Pokemon are in the photo with your subject Pokemon. Now, I know that was a lot of info all at once. Let me boil it down. Remember this and you'll do fine. Get the Pokemon nice and big in the center of the frame, then snap the shutter. With all that in mind, here's your evaluation. Hmm. Looking good. Hard to believe you're a beginner. Is that like the grade he gives everybody when they first uh, when they first get this done? Okay. A new discovery. <clears throat> nice work. I see it's in flights. Night's going. This isn't a bad shot at all. Remember, getting the whole Pokemon in the front looking nice and big is key to a good size score. How was it? What did you think? Once you get your photos evaluated, you can use them to fill out your very own Pokemon photo decks. That will be a great milestone to work toward. That about does it. I think it's time you set off on your adventure. Yes. 
I'm on to see the Pokemon. Now then. That should do. That should about do it. See this pod? It's it'll carry you on your photography expedition. By the way. It's called the Neo One. <laughs> it's the best. It can teleport to far off places in time. No time flat. Here's the thing. I finally put the finishing touches on it not long ago with a little help from someone I know. You see, it makes use of, s of energy hotspots scattered throughout the Lentil region. Sweet. Come on, Professor. The details can wait. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Let's get you moving. Climb on in and touch your camera to the console. All right. I guess we're getting into this uh, device here. This, this teleporter machine. Research lab, personal lab at the laboratories of philosophy. I think I've read that already. Oh, so that's it's the entrance to Florio Nature Park. The Neo One will automatically follow a set route. You can just focus on looking around and taking photos. Oh, I totally forgot to play this. Ah, this is tough. Let me get this dodo right here. <laughs> Never had a bidoof. A bidoof. Deef. A whirlpool. A whirlpool. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, I should have caught that he little f I forgot the name. I think it starts with a Oh, I could have. Damn, that was stuff right there. There's some amateur pictures, man. Swana. Vermouth Blight. Damn, it's tough. Come on, look. Oh, he turned around. Little bastard. So they're just floating up in the sky. They're sleeping. He was sleeping. All right, so let's see. Um, sure. All right. So now that we fixed that, we should be able to bring that up to here. <coughs> but like a four. All 
All right, so we'll give that a try. I don't know what any of those buttons do. Okay. All right, so we definitely need to increase this, this bad boy here. symbol marks the spot where you'll teleport back to camp. Oh, does it? Basically, it's the end of the course. Does it? When you get back, I'll take a look at your photos. You didn't judge my photos and it sucks. Welcome back. Welcome back. I hope you had a good time in Floreal Nature Park. Anyway. Now, just like before, it's time to show show me some photos you took. Go ahead and choose one photo for a Pokemon. Sleeping? Let me get him sleeping. Let me turn him in sleeping. I mean, since I got the. Which one's better? Which one's better? Let's keep that one. That one's probably better there, too. my prize gem right there that one all right so let's uh let's get created here let's see what happens all right let's have a look a new discovery there you go nice work I don't know if that's a good thing. Is that a good thing? A new discovery. Nice work. Five hundred, huh? Woo! Is that what I'm aiming for there? Is it like a diamond? A new discovery. Nice work. Hmm. Ouch. Ouch. A new discovery. Perfect timing. Nine fifty. Whoa. That dope trio still takes the cake. A 
A new discovery. Nice work. A new discovery. Nice work. Hmm. Only the Dodrio. I got a buff gold, I believe. A new discovery. Nice work. Bounce. A new discovery. Say like ouchy right there. Nice work. Ouch. A new discovery. Nice work. Hmm. I thought that one was cool. A new discovery. Nice work. The Florges and the Doe Trio got me a diamond. Diamond star. Is that good? Is that not good? How was it? So what do you think? I don't know, you tell me, man. Anyway. Let me tell you about research levels. Your research levels on a course tells you how much progress you've made there. Once that level goes up, you may see Pokemon behave in ways you haven't seen before. The key to raising your research level is to observe all types of Pokemon's behaviors. Mm -hmm. That means getting photographs of them in every category from one star to four star. So, so in short, fill up the photo decks, keep, it, keep that in mind, and you'll be on track. So get out there and snap lots of photos and cherish the encounters with Pokemon you have along the way. Mm -hmm. I've never had guessed it was your first trip out there and kept keep up the good work. <coughs> Photo program newbie, you research Florio Nature Park for the first time. You got a score of 2,000 points or more on the size category during a photo evaluation. You got a score of a thousand points or more in a direction category during a photo evaluation. A thousand points in the placement category. After your research trips, you can choose photos to save your outreach in your space in the lab. You could also resnap to make some changes to the photos before you save them. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose to keep. This one, and that one. Okay, how to save him. I forgot how quickly I moved. Now then. That covers just about everything. Hey, so. Can we go on the nighttime photo shoot later? 
Not yet, but soon after a little bit more practice. Also. By the way, don't forget you can come back to the lab and take a look at your photo decks anytime. <laughs> I'll explain more about what about that when you stop by the lab. Anyway. We well don't let me keep you any longer. Go ahead and good time and snap some photos. Alright, let's go snap some photos. Because I am a photo genius. Can do that right all right let's head out to nature park take some photos I don't know if that's what I want to do research lab ah. are you headed out on another expedition already no. oh, yeah before you go let me tell you one more thing you could do with your research camera you can run a scan that will give you details about your surroundings and it tells you about nearby Pokemon and points out anything unusual. Hey, so what counts as unusual? You're never gonna never give me a solid answer. So basically, anything that makes the system go check this out. Yeah. Well, I guess that's all the detail we're ever gonna get. Yep. You'll get the hang of it once you try it, Rita. Would you? Leave it to me, Professor. All right, get that camera ready. Running a scan is easy. All you gotta do is press the X button. Try it out. You saw that Pokemon's name pop up, right? Yeah. And did you also notice that question mark? Yes. That tells you there's something you can take a closer look at. First, move the pointer over the... Huh? Did you see the pointer change shape? Yeah. That's your cue to press and hold the X button to analyze whatever's there. Give it a try. Right. There. Now you should see the results. All right. Yeah. Come to think of it, I heard that a friend of the professor's came up with the name Neo One. Well, pretty easy, right? When this icon pops up at the bottom of your screen, there's something nearby to check out. When you see that, try running a scan and taking a careful look around. Oh, right. I almost forgot. There's one more cool thing you should know about scanning. Some Pokemon will react to the sound and electrical signal from the scan. If it gets their attention, that's your chance to snap a photo. The professor calls it an accidental say cheese feature. Cheese. Anyway, that ought to cover everything. Yo, guys, I have not slept. Anyway, out to the cut. Yeah, she said that. No need for me to read that again. Professor. Explanations all done. Thank you. Thanks, Rita. Don't hesitate to run a scan. I'll tell you a lot about your surroundings. First of all. Alright, so we gotta go take more pictures here at the uh, nature park. Let's see if my uh, skills got better. Good luck.
missed that little thing right there. That I wanted. Oh. Yep. Scan that. Okay, we scanned that. Scan that. Oh, I remember there's something that flies right here. There they are. Oh, I hope that's the winner. Part up you go. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't get him doing something cool. Got them flying. Hmm. What's supposed to be here? Hmm. I don't know if I did any better. It's time. Getting the hang of this is cool, aren't you? Why don't you pick some photos to show me? All right. I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. Let's see what you've got. For my last photo. Nice work. Hmm, do better than that one. How do I get a four star photo? Nice work. Hmm. Nice 
nice work. Nice work. Nice work. I think this one's gonna win. Nice. Mm, nice work. A new discovery. Mm, a Pichu. I didn't have her or him. Nice work. Perfect timing. Nice work. I didn't do any better. All right. I'm gonna step forward for our research. I bet the area are getting comfortable with you. Cool. Together with friends. Ah. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. I'll find you once in your photos are squatted away. I think they'll be pleased to hear this. Your photography seems to be going well. Anyway, I think you're about to be ready for a nighttime visit to Florida Nature Park. Here's the thing. Hopefully, you get to see one of Lenta's greatest wonders, a glow called the Illumina phenomenon. Speaking of, you're the one who discovered how the glow happens, right, Professor? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. But explaining the process scientifically was just one step forward to my ultimate goal: finding the special Pokémon spoken of the legends of Lentil. You mean the Illuminom Pokemon? I thought they were made up. No. They're very much real. You've seen the photos from Captain Vin's travel log, haven't you? What? You can barely tell what's in those photos, and they're ancient anyway. Literally a hundred years old. All right now. Yeah, they probably are ancient. Well, we can discuss that later. Right. For now, enjoy your nighttime out outing. Here. Let's check out what's in the lab first. This is the professor's lab. Oh. Now that's your first time here, of course. This is where the professor does his research and works on mechanical stuff. <sighs> in fact, he's pretty much lives here. All right. Let me give you a quick rundown of what you can do here. Excuse me. That server over there is where you store our research work. And there are a few things you can do with all that data. First, you can check your photo decks. That's the encyclo record you're building with the photos you're taking. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Getting to put together your very own photo then. decks. Next, there's your space. Hmm. 
That's where you get to see your personal photo album and adventure milestones. By the way. Your album is for photos you want to keep and not put in your photo decks. <laughs> you can edit your photo album photos in some cool ways too. Wow. And am I forgetting anything? Professor! Also. Did you cover what we can do on the internet? Oh. Oh yeah, we can go on the internet. And if you use the online internet feature, you can see photos from other players all over the world. If you really like photo, you can tell the photographer a nice job by giving them the, the photo a little digital medal. <laughs> They're called sweet medals. Give all you want. People love getting them. Agreed. And that's right. You can see other photographers rank it in each score category. Okay. All right, I think that's everything. I'm sure you'll figure it all out quick. All right. Don't be shy. Try everything out. I'm starving. Pokemon. Hey, so Alright, we're gonna do one more run And then I'm gonna make some food I know this was a short stream I just wanted to uh, Get on this, play it a little bit And I didn't want to not get on the stream Or get this recorded As my part one So if that's what this is Let's go ahead and jump back into Floreal Nature Park. Let's see what we got here. So it wants me to try the night version of it. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see what we can get out of the night. new side of Pokemon at night. Watch for differences in their behavior.
it's a pincer. Oh, shoot. What are those? Torturas? Torteras? What are they doing here? Oh, it's, it's glowing. Got some ducklets. Sleeping right here. It's a Pidgeotto or Pidgeot. Pincer. Motherfucker, I missed him. Mm. A hoot hoot. Sure, let's look at our photos there, Professor Mirror. Since that's all you do is judge us. Let's do this. A new discovery. Nice work. Oh, he's a nice. Hmm. Nice work. A new discovery. Nice work. A new discovery. Nice work. A new discovery. Nice work. A 
new discovery. Great timing. Mm, nice work. A new discovery. Nice work. Nice work. A new discovery. Nice work. Discovery. Nice work. A new discovery. Nice work. Let's see what uh, Professor Mera has in store for us right now as we head back into the uh, <sighs> research lab. <laughs> Something incredible has happened. Here, take a look at this. Here's the thing. When you get near the field of flowers, I picked up an incredibly strong energy reading. Also. Its source seemed to be moving too, if, if only slightly. Which suggests that we've got it here. Here is ah. an aluminum mm -hmm. Pokemon. We can't be sure yet, but I'll suspect so. I wonder why it showed up. Did you do anything special? Mm. I also doubt that it appeared when it did by chance. So I think you should be the one to investigate the area where the reading is coming from. What? Oh, I want to go and see you too. You can watch through the monitor with me, Rita. All right. Please head out as soon as you're ready. Cool. All right, so it looks like something special is about to happen. Uh, do I save it? I'm not sure if I save it. <coughs> Anyways. I think that's going to call it for me on the Pokemon Snap Part 1. Uh, we did a the Florio Nature Park. Uh, two passes and then one at night. Got a little bit of hang of it. I need to take a nap and then we'll get back onto it. Back onto snapping some photos when I wake up or something. Man, maybe around like 5 or 6. But if you did join me this morning, much love. Thank you, guys. If you like the content that I produce, please drop a like or subscribe. Please love you guys. Peace out. Veritas. Nap, nap.